All right, Halos, welcome back. How's everyone doing? Uh, we are back, joined by Drew once again for some more patch notes. What's up, Drew? Hey, what's happening? We, uh, this would have been out sooner, but I think we were just playing Swarm. Like, yeah, pretty much. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy to lose track of time. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but yeah, let's jump into it. So we got patch 14.4. We got this awesome battle dev uh, Seraphine skin popping out here as well, of course. Quite a cool, quite a few good, cool skins uh, popped out as well. But we'll get to that at the end yeah. here. Uh, either way, uh, we got a bunch of stuff here. Obviously, the swarm game mode happened, and uh, some a bunch of changes as well. Um, and we have the new Aurora champion as well that popped out. But uh, yep. I haven't really touched her yet. Have you? Um, I played her in Swarm, and okay. then I've played against her in the jungle and against her in the top lane so far. Okay. Strong or weak yeah. or decent? Um, yeah, she feels, actually, surprisingly, feels really powerful in the jungle. Um, okay. Interesting. Like, when she ganks you and just alts, you can't, or you just can't get away. You're just crap, <laughs> so. Gotcha. Okay. But yeah, uh, Call of Legends event extension, of course, I think until yeah, July 29th, so you have a few more yeah. days to do that as of recording. Um, and then, of course, Swarm is happening. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, okay, it says run until August 19th for now. But um, yeah. like I think you were saying before that it's been like super popular, so I think there's a very good yes. chance it could come back. Um, maybe we'll see it as like a permanent game mode too, but I don't know for sure about that. <laughs> Just hopes yeah. and dreams. Yeah. Yeah, it could be like maybe like uh, like it'll come back more frequently than the other game modes would be cool. Yeah, right. Um, but yeah, so Aurora, as we said, uh, already came out. She came out on the the seventeenth. Um, so yeah, she seems pretty cool. Um, so far, I haven't really tried her out, but we will definitely have to do some of that. If you guys want to see me do like a, a rundown video or something, that would be kind of cool. Um, uh, she seems interesting. I I might play her a bit. But we'll see. I don't know how she feels yet. So, but yeah, uh, let's jump into the champions. Uh, you want to start us off, or shall I? No, I'll, uh, fine. I'll talk about Aphelios. All right. <laughs> let's see what Aphelios has got. He's uh, or, uh, they're changing. Let's see. It looks like maybe his Q for every single gun. So, um, yeah. actually, so it looks like three Q changes. So on his purple gun, um, he's getting more damage at the high end so it used to be 50 to 110 now it's 50 to 140 so more damage on the purple gun mm -hmm. on the white gun um his sentry t towers also getting more damage so 31 to 100 is the old uh scale and now it's 35 to 125 so you get more loaded on the back end but it is a bit stronger early and then the red gun um the healing gun is the actual base damages are the same, it looks like, but it's like the bonus 80 the percentage, scaling. yeah, the eighty scaling is up. It is actually up two percent at the first rank, so twenty two percent instead of twenty, and then at max rank it's forty percent instead of thirty five. So, yeah. um, I think this overall probably just makes him like, increase his late game strength because it bumps the numbers up quite a bit on the the max rank. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. And it's, it's also increasing their AD scaling on pretty much all of these, uh, if the first one especially, um, and then the other yeah. ones a bit more as well. So it's going to be a lot more damage on his activations, basically, which isn't super often, but it can be. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Sure, sure, sure. Nice little bump for him, um, but I don't think it's going to do anything super crazy. Uh, yeah, but... I don't think so. No. <laughs> but yeah, um, base AD on Aurelian Souls going up by three, so that's kind of interesting. Um, makes it easier for him to last hit, I suppose, at least, and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. poke a bit, I guess. Um, his Q, Breath of Light, got a bunch of changes here, actually. Um, initial mana cost uh, is going to be from uh, 30 to 50 now, based on rank. It was 7.5 to 12.5 previously, which is quite a bit, but um, it says, note, after paying the initial cost, additional sustained ma mana cost is triggered. So, um, uh, the sustained mana cost, every half second, starting half, uh, half a second into the channel, um, is what it used to be, and now it's every quarter second, starting at 1.25 seconds into the channel. So that means... 
it takes longer for it to happen, basically, for the sustained mana cost, basically. But it, it happens more frequently once it does yes. trigger. Um, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but yeah, um, so basically what I've, I've heard what this is, is basically that the tap um, queue, they want to nerf a lot because you be, used to be able to tap it a lot um, and just kind of get like that proc off or just get like a, a comet or whatever really fastly. Um, but now you are basically, it's very incentivized to actually hold the key down for a while um, instead of just tapping it, which is better for gameplay and counterplay and stuff. So, <laughs> uh, also, yeah, it gives more counterplay for sure because he's like, yeah, you know. Not, not just like tapping and moving all over the place. So. Exactly. Uh, and then the oh, mana cost okay. during the W, um, the mana, mana cost uh, adjustment is unchanged while using Breath of Light during W. So as long as you're using W, this is this stuff doesn't even happen, basically. Um, yeah, I mean, it does, but like it's not like the big nerfs. <laughs> so yeah. that's good. Um, and then W Astral Flight, uh, the range used to be 1,200 plus 7.5 per Stardust. Getting pretty big buffs here. It's going to be um, 1,500 base and up until 1,900 at max rank. Um, and up every rank in between, of course. Uh, and it still has the plus 7.5 uh, per Stardust as well. Nice. So, yeah, pretty pretty nice there. Um, yeah, that's good. Uh, E-Singularity, uh, mana cost... It was, was uh, 80 to 100 um, based on rank, and now it's 80 at all ranks, so that's actually really nice. Uh, this is one of the abilities he likes to spam a little bit, so and it's good for his like CSing and stuff. So having a lot less cost each cast is really super super nice. Um, and then movement speed debuff: non-champions are slowed to zero movement speed. Was the old version. Uh, now it's lane minions and jungle monsters are slowed to zero movement speed. So um, interesting. I guess that. I wonder if I don't play him, but I wonder if this helps him farm raptors like over the wall in lane. I'm not mm, sure. Maybe. And I'm wondering if you use if like you throw your E over that wall for raptors if they like run and go around the wall and it's annoying. So I wonder now if they don't move at all when you throw it, it might be. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm not sure. sure. It might be. I have to test it out, so. but I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking it could be nice for that if you want to like snag those raptors just every time they come up. Your jungle will uh, hate you, but you know <laughs> that is an option. I guess um, this would apply to like uh, Tibbers, maybe. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah and so. like Nefiri dogs, stuff like that. Uh, and now that doesn't apply is what I'm reading into this because like yeah. I'm not sure if it would apply to like um, drag. I don't think it would apply to a dragon or it would apply to um, like void grubs or anything like that, right? Yeah. But maybe, yeah, yeah. I don't know. But yeah, inter interesting. All right. Uh, our falling star slash the skies descend. The falling star damage before it's upgraded um, was 150 to 350 uh, plus 65% AP, and the base is unchanged, but the scaling is up by 10%, so it's now 75% of AP uh, scaling on that. It's pretty nice, actually. Uh, pretty big. And then, um, the Skies Ascend um, deals 125% of Falling Star's damage, and then the Skies Descend Shockwave damage was 100% of Falling Star's damage, and now it's 90% uh, of Falling Star's damage, so a little bit knocked off on the, the Shockwave around, which is pretty pretty nice i like that as someone that doesn't play them a whole lot <laughs> i think that, that's fine yeah it's fine definitely all right Belveth. um with Belveth, they are taking down her attack range by Ooh. 25 so she'll have to get a little bit more up close and personal um yeah. however her r um is giving her back essentially that that attack range because instead of giving you 50 bonus it's giving you an extra 25 so now it's 75 bonus so she'll be you have to get a little bit closer normally but then at, uh and when halting it will be back to kind of what you were used to i think yeah pretty much yeah so once it is a nerf though it is a nerf for sure yeah definitely yeah. unless you're in your r you are nerfed in terms of attack yep. range so yep. 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 got it Okay, I mean that's what it used to be. I think uh, pretty early on, at least. Um, I think so, so too. Yeah. Yeah, they they're just kind of reverting that a little bit. Okay. Uh, brand so e conflagration uh, cooldown was twelve to eight seconds. Now it's uh, thirteen to nine. I believe they just 
Um, they just nerfed, the, like, buffed this uh, in the like, recent patch, right? To this number, and now they're reverting yes. it. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. So, they, they lowered it, now they're putting it back up. Yeah. Definitely a little bit of a hurt, but um, it's not one that he spams a super ton, so it should be fine. Um, uh, magic damage. He's pretty strong anyway, though. So, um, yeah. magic damage was 60 to 160. Um, now it's going to be 55 to 155. And of course, it has the 60% AP scaling unchanged there as well. So, um, light taps a bit here. Um, definitely hurts him a bit, but it's not going to. I don't think it's going to matter a whole lot. No, I think as long as Faded Ashes is still in the game, <laughs> uh, he'll be he'll be okay for now. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Chogath, my boy, uh, he's getting some uh, little little buffs, a little couple little buffs. So, I've already been playing more um, of this guy. I'm happy. Nice, nice, nice. He's getting uh, damage on his Q at the every rank past one gets extra damage, nice. um, which caps out to twenty extra damage at max rank. Uh, and his Vorpal spikes, his E, is also. Um, getting a little buff so it is just the magic damage like yeah just the basis so magic damage based uh blah 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 so his base damage here is actually it's it is the slightest of this so is that a typo or you think that's that i guess they're rounding out the numbers to make yeah. them flat but i think it's, it, it's technically it's technically a two base damage nerf at rank one <laughs> um but then every other rank after you just get more damage so it used to be 22 to 82 now it's 20 to 100 so i don't think that's, two uh, damage on base is going to do anything no. that's no 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 no. and then you would definitely <laughs> take this because by the time you max it you get what almost 20 extra damage so that's yeah absolutely yeah, that's good and plus it's you have good. all the other stuff like the the target max helps though which is yes. where most of your damage is coming from on this ability your base damage is not going to matter yeah. plus it's two magic damage which is also going to be reduced by um magic resist and stuff anyway so um, even though champs don't have a ton of magic resist that's that's nothing by the way that's yeah that's fake yeah. news but yeah definitely put Ooh. a couple of points in this at least for sure um i think people were doing some people were doing e i think w and then some people were doing like eqw some people do like weq so just uh depends on how you max i guess but definitely uh not not a bad idea to max this a little bit sooner but yeah just nice little taps on him but i really like it and i love him yeah, yeah. I like <laughs> he's great all right. Uh, next up, we got Corky. So, it's like, looks like they're changing the recommended skill order. Um, rec Corky's rec recommended skill order for mid lane has been updated to now suggest maxing Q first, and then the pace, base stats. Uh, his base health is just going down by 30. Um, so roughly half an auto attack um, worth of, of stats there that he's losing. So just a tiny bit squishier, and then they're changing some of that uh, recommended stuff. But yeah. Yep. Yep. Nothing crazy, it's fine. Uh, fiddlesticks. I haven't seen Fiddlesticks in quite a while, so... <laughs> Terrify, which is his Q, which is his, uh... That's, I think, his point and click. Yes. Here. Um, oh, God, why? Terrify is now blocked by Windwall, Unbreakable, and Blade World. I love um, it. Okay, so... Yep, don't worry. If you're... if you, a, a Wall of Wind can now block uh, emotions... Here, <laughs> well, it says sense. he fires a crow at his target, which is a projectile, true, true, so it should be blocked. <laughs> I guess if you actually be technical about it, you have to throw, <laughs> so blocks the crow. So yeah, okay, but um, a little bit more counterplay for certain yes. champs uh, for that. fiddle. So uh, it would it's be nice. I, I actually really say. hate the uh, Q spam out of the uh, support fiddlesticks. Yeah. So. Now that Braum can block it, that that's pretty nice. So yeah, there you go. You got a nice little counter there. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Uh, yeah, it's definitely pretty annoying. So I'm I'm glad there's a little there's a little bit more little, at least a little bit more counterplay on it. Um, they've removed a lot of like point and click abilities in the game, and Fiddle Six is one of the ones that they haven't. Which is and it, I think it's good if you max it out. I think it goes up to like what three seconds or something kind of crazy. So yeah, yeah, it's like crazy. It's, it's pretty pretty strong point and click ability. Um, hard CC it so. <laughs> At least there's something, uh, but that's yeah, that's good. Uh, Hecarim, we got some more changes on him. Uh, so, so it looks like they're reverting several changes 
uh, from 13.21 and 13.17. Um, but yeah, the base stats, health growth is going up a little bit, so it's going to be um, 7 more health per level you're getting, you're getting there, up to 106 from 99. And then W, Spirit of Dread, duration is going from 5 to 4 seconds. Um, the healing uh, was 20% half to 10% for damage dealt by allies. Now it's 25% instead of 20, half to 12.5 instead of 10 for damage dealt by allies. Um, so a little, uh, basically just straight up more he healing, um, but it is a little bit less time, so it's kind of like evens out a bit. Um, so you're healing a little bit faster, I would say. Um, and then cooldown uh, was 16 to 14 seconds based on rank. Now it's just 14 seconds at all ranks. So that's a nice little buff there for sure. Um, and then ease devastating charge was cooldown 18 uh, seconds at all ranks. Now it's 20 to 18, 20 to 16. So um, it's two seconds longer early, and then at rank three and beyond, um, it's going to be even or even uh, lower cooldown obviously than before. So just nice little bumps to him for sure. It's pretty. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say like crazy, but definitely large. I would say overall. What do you think? Yeah, I think I I do think it's like noticeable. Like you'll, you'll I, I haven't played against or as him since the patch drop, so but I do I feel like it's like decent size changes. Um I just don't play him that much to know for sure, but I do know like he's one of those champs where he can just be crazy oppressive if they if they like overdo it. So I think they're very yeah. They're like very cautious when they do chain check room because if if they do just a little bit too much, then he just like takes over the whole jungle meta. Definitely. Um, but yeah, I think these are fine. I think they're fine. They're fine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Nothing super crazy there. Yeah. Aurelia. Um. What What do we got here? They're giving her. Uh. Well, they're taking away 0.5 AD growth off her base stats. And then um, they're giving her more passive attack speed. Um, so it used to be scaling at 1, 7, and 13. Um, and it was 7.5 to 20%. And now it's just every level. And it'll go 7.5, which is unchanged, up to 25%. So okay. um, that's more nice for her. late in the game it gets. Yeah, the more attack speed she gains, which is, yeah, she'll like that a lot. And then cooldown reduction on her R um, is nerfed, I think. Wait, off blade cooldown reduction. Is this how, if it's, well, let me read the top part. Uh, balancing out the buff by reducing how forgiving blade surge. Yes, okay, so, okay, I did think that right. So it's a nerf, so it's giving back... Yeah. Le like one second less at max rank of cooldown refund. Yep, yep, so, yep. Um, which is, I think that's kind of how they're balancing out the fact that she just has more passive attack speed. So, yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, like nice little changing, touches there. Yeah, I think, I think hmm, I, yeah, definitely, I would say overall nerfs, but I mean, this is pretty nice as well for her just to get that yeah. uh, attack speed from levels yeah. two to, to six and. Eight to it's, twelve. It's like it's a buff, except it's it's a buff except when she's like alting, then you'll feel the nerf. But um, yeah, but that's fine. Not, she's broken anyway. Then, so. yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> fine. Yeah, I got I got no problems with. This. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, Jax is up next. So we got E Counter Strike changes. Pretty large nerf here. Um, the cooldown of his E is going to be up by two seconds at rank one. So it's now 17 seconds instead of 15. And then once you max it out, uh, it's going to be a little the same, but it does get a little bit longer every level before that up until roughly uh, the second to last and last rank. It's going to be the exact same. So, um, but yeah, definitely a little nerf to his early game, especially. Um, usually this is, I believe, his first max. So. Should be should be fine, but um, yeah, you're definitely gonna feel it a little bit worse in uh, in laning phase for sure. We got Jace, Jace, uh, Jace is struggling at the moment. Um, true, I haven't seen Jace in a minute. Um, physical damage on his Q is getting a A buff here, so it was 55 to 330. Now it's gonna be 60 to 335. Um, so just five damage at every rank, but then you get 
hmm. uh, five extra percentage bonus AD. So better so, scaling. Okay. Uh, better scaling, a little bit more flat damage across the board. Um, I don't know if this makes him like super viable still, but I feel like there's still people who poke better than him right now. But maybe I don't play him that much, so maybe this is what he needs to to come back in. Yeah, possibly. Definitely helps his scaling for sure. Um, yeah. But yeah. Which was a problem with him. He, he was always like falling off later and later into the game, so maybe this does help. Yeah, fair enough. Alright, uh, Kindred. Up next, we got uh, base stats for base health. Base health is going from 610 to 6... Sorry, 595. So getting a little bit squishier there, about, what, 15? Yeah, 15 HP at the yeah. start um and then which is nothing nothing that crazy honestly but definitely something um q dance of arrows uh, bonus attack speed was going from 35 percent to 30 percent so pretty sure it used to be 30 percent so maybe this is kind of a, re a revert a little bit but uh yeah pretty pretty uh, i'm perfectly fine with these make her a little squishy it's it's all right yeah seems fine seems fine yeah we've got lilia um her passive is healing effectiveness versus champions. So it is a nerf here. It used to be 100% healing effectiveness reduced to 33 for every other champion that she puts her passive on. And now it's 100% for the first hit and then 15% for successive. So she'll definitely heal about half as much. For those extra people she tags her passive with. Um, so that's a nerf for her sustain um, for sure and like team fights. And then Swirl Seed, um, the damage is also a bit of a nerf. 10 flat damage at every rank. So it went from 70 to 170 to 60 to 160. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's 10% less AP scaling as well. So I think that's fine. That just means like her E. When she like throws those crazy long E's, uh, just as like poke in a late game, like they won't hurt quite as much, and then she won't be quite as tanky in big team fights. So I think that's, I think that's fine. Yeah, but, uh, shouldn't be too yeah. big of a problem. I don't think so. Um, definitely, definitely hurting her though, which I I am perfectly fine with. She's pretty, I wouldn't say busted, yeah. but uh, could use some some more like kind of play yeah. i'd say personally i think but... i think this should only hurt her like later in the game too so i think yeah nothing, early mid game should be fine nothing too bad and of course she does have like the runic ashes of course because she's an ap jungler so sure. kind of already sure. got a bit of a buff in that department so there you go <laughs> yep. uh all right milio it's your boy right here uh got some yeah. changes going on let's see uh passive fired up so damage 50 percent of Allies AD followed by 15 to 50 based on level, plus 20% of Amelia's AP burn damage over 1.5 seconds. That's a lot. Um, yeah. And that was the old version. So now it's 7, 11, and 15% based on levels 1, 6, and 9 uh, of Allies AD uh, followed by 10 to 50. So a little bit of an early nerf there, kind of. Actually, it's just a nerf overall, I suppose. Yeah. Um, uh, based on level, and then the AP, uh, Emilio's AP is unchanged and the same duration of burn. Okay, so early nerfs to him right now, so um, making him a little bit weaker in the early games to, to counterplay, I suppose. Um, okay, and then Q, Ultra Mega Fire Kick. The cooldown was 12 seconds, now it's 10, so it can span it out a little bit quicker. It's actually pretty nice. Um, the range is 1200 from 1000, so actually maybe longer range than before and uh, new hitting at least one enemy champion with ultra mega fire kick refunds 50% of its mana cost wow that's really nice as well too that's okay. nice that's awesome super nice for his Q right now okay uh, W cozy can campfire sorry recast range was 700 now it's 3000 units recast what's the recast that's like you can um you, you basically become like you you can control your little little flamigo uh, like, like change targets or whatever. yeah well you can move yeah you can change like where you want to send him um okay. like to a different target so but normally you have to be like pretty close to do it so now you can just be like okay yeah that's really far so. far away okay do it, so pretty much outside of your screen almost i would say right <laughs> or something like that yep 
Yep, yep, yep. Um, All right. Oh, go ahead. Uh, I was going to say, I, just, I don't, it's nice, but I don't know. I, normally, you're pretty up close anyway because you want to be nearby to be able to alt. So, true. Um, okay. I think this isn't like that big of a deal, but there's probably like some random scenarios where it's, uh, where it might be useful. All right. Okay. Uh, cozy camp, new cozy campfire is slower when following targets that are more than 2,500 units from Melio. So the last like 500 units or so, you're a little bit slower or the campfire yeah. is slower rather. So, okay. Um, interesting. E warm hugs. The shield strength, uh, was 60 to 180 in flat and 30% AP scaling. Now it's going to be 45. So flat 15 off early and for every rank following, it looks like, yeah, 15 rank, 15 off at every rank. Um, so that's less shielding for sure, but it does scale with 15% more of AP, um, which is pretty sizable, but I'm not sure exactly how a much AP is actually going to buy though, right? Um, you, you normally don't, unless you're like, you'll get some, yeah, maybe you, like, don't, you, don't, you don't, you don't buy it, you don't stack it. Yeah. 200 maybe at the most. Um, yeah. so you don't, you don't really get a lot of AP, at least currently. Um, yeah, definitely. But it definitely puts a lot of emphasis on this Q now. Yeah. versus his other abilities um which i think is good because q is the one that took actual like skill to to use so True. like somewhat so i think um i think it's it'll reward people who are really good with his q now fair enough all right um cool that's pretty interesting stuff for him i think uh, hmm I'm pretty think, sure it's an overall nerf. Yeah, I'd say he's definitely nerfed early at least. Yes. Um, but I think his his late game or like mid game isn't gonna be quite that bad really. No, no it should be fine. Yeah. yeah. It should be fine. But yeah, okay. Interesting. Yep. All right. We've got uh Nidalee here. Um Nidalee is one of the hardest champions to play. Yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe, maybe. Uh, let's see. So W pounce. Uh, it's going. Uh, I think this is in the cougar form. Is when it's pounce. Um, because I think it's traps one. Yeah, I'm not sure why they have the trap icon there. You're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But but anyway, yeah. I think it's the cougar W. So it's sixty to two ten was the original damage. Yeah. Now it's going fifty five to one ninety. So flat is nerfed. However. Um, they do give it a 50% bonus AD scaling Ooh, ratio wow. as well. Um, and before it only scaled off of AP. So now it scales actually more off of AD than AP. So at least it's bonus, yeah. So Bonus, yeah, at least it's bonus, true. So that's uh, that's interesting. They're interested to um, see how nit AD Nidalee might fare. <laughs> yeah, yeah, interesting. I don't know why they're interested in that, but okay. <laughs> um, and then swipe. For courageous players. Um, yeah. <laughs> Swipe is uh is also the Cougar E, and that yes. one is going same same exact idea. The flat damage is nerfed by ten at every rank, and they're adding a seventy percent bonus AD scaling ratio where before it was just. Eight. Oh, actually no, this one did have AD. So they're actually they're they're it what used to be forty bonus AD, yeah, yeah. forty five AP. Now it's 70 bonus AD, 40 AP. So, um, yeah, I guess they really do want people to experiment a bit with some AD items on Italy. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, I guess we'll see how it goes. Yeah, it's also got a 5% AP nerf on the, the swipe yes. as well, but I'm not yeah, sure that'll so they, be they definitely Yeah, so they definitely want people to try AD. Yes. <laughs> right. All right. Uh, Rumble's up next. we got Q Flame Spitter. Uh, total magic damage. Let's see what it was. What is it? Just the flat is what I'm seeing right now. Yeah, just the flat damage yeah. um, was 125 to 185. Now it's going to be nerfed pretty early, especially. Um, it's going to be 80 to 180. Um, and obviously, every rank gets nerfed up until the last rank is only done by 5, which is basically nothing. Um, but yeah, definitely weaker early, which is nice. I was listening to Freak when he was doing some of these changes, and that's pretty much what they were trying to do. It's like, it's a pretty much an unavoidable unavoidable like skill you can't really dodge it um realistically um so they're just kind of taking a lot of damage out of its early game which is really nice uh the minion damage modifier was 55 to 75 percent uh, based on rank now it's 70 percent at all ranks so a little bit nerfed on the late part of it but um it's gonna be like just better pretty much overall so you can clear clear minions a little bit quicker and then um 
removed the flame spitter no longer prevents minions from dying to other minions if they would die to one more tick of flame spitter so it had that kind of seraphine Q that they used to have um where they would you would still get like the the minion credit even if a uh, minion was about to kill it right as your Q was about yep. to damage them so <laughs> it's not going to have that anymore so you're going to have to actually like be a little bit more skilled with it um Although, I don't know how much you can, it's a, it's a flamethrower. <laughs> yeah, you can kind of just, like, click, I don't, yeah, you just yeah. kind of click it and go, so. <laughs> uh, it says, new flame splitter now deals one bonus tick of damage, um, ability duration permitting, if it would kill a lane minion. Bonus tick of damage, if it would kill a lane minion. Okay. I'm not sure if that means, like, it does help with it last setting, or? Not sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, it would. So I guess they like re-scripted this. Yeah. Sort of. Interesting. Are all our parents minions from dying to other minions if they were to die? Yeah, I, I think. I'm not sure, but yeah, I think it's okay. Probably about the same. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Last thing, logic interactions. Yeah, the interaction is just makes more sense, but it's okay. Perfect. Yeah. yeah, so instead of preventing, it just deals a little bit quicker. So I guess you kill him a little slightly quicker, but <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's that's what he was talking about. Like a skill that goes through minions, can't miss, and has no permanent resource cost. <laughs> so yep. they're definitely tapping down the damage on that, which I very much appreciate. Um, so that's good. Yep. I love it. What's up with our guy Scion here? Uh, w Soul Furnace is all they're changing is it's actually a little very little buff i would say it used to the scaling on targets max max hp on the explosion damage mm -hmm. it used to be 10 to 14 percent and it would go up with each rank now it's just 14 percent at all ranks so um yeah i nice, think yeah. that means you can you can just get that full damage value even at rank one which yeah. is pretty nice yeah definitely definitely big for him uh just four four percent more uh max hp damage just immediately um that's really yep, nice just for free so not bad all right uh smolder q scorcher uh super scorcher breath the damage on this is going up a little bit um so it was 15 to 55 on the flat and now it is 20 to 60 so it's getting basically five uh damage flat damage at every rank which is definitely something um definitely so nothing crazy there but definitely putting him a little giving him a little bit more power back um after the the large nerfs and the, like the spring yeah that's fine i think he's still kind of weak now so uh, yeah overall i'd say let's see tristana uh more mana at max or just at all ranks her base mana is up by 50 um which makes sense because they actually gave mana cost okay interesting they added a mana cost to her q so it now costs 50 mana to turn on her rapid fire um yep. and it's also nerfed so the attack speed is down by quite a bit actually rank one was 65 now it's 50 and max rank was 125 now it's 110 so you get pretty significantly less attack speed from it and it costs you 50 mana and then uh rocket jump is 10 mana less which i feel like that's whatever so um i think nerfs for sure yeah absolutely um that they, nerf is pretty big i think yeah um they they don't want her in pro like they don't want her to be like pick or ban pro which is what she's been right yeah, now like yeah. her and corky basically um so yeah, they're um they're definitely giving her a little bit more base mana just because of adding the the mana cost to the q which used to always always be free uh now it's now it's 50 mana which is pretty sizable you can't just use this to like for free clear some minions or something um and just get it whatever it is so you're gonna have to be more thinking about it a little bit more um and use it less just like off cooldown or whatever um so yeah of, of course like as you said the attack speeds nerfs pretty pretty decent as well um but nothing I, I don't know it's not gonna be the end of the world the mana cost is definitely the bigger part like you said so um yeah it's pretty a little bit rougher but um it is what it is it's fine i don't actually personally think she's that crazily strong but um i don't really play her mid much so i guess <laughs> fair enough yeah. so that's where they keep playing her stuff <laughs> yep all right uh zed we got the cute razor shuriken so um damage on this 
is getting buffed here, so it uh, looks like up by 10 on the base damage at every rank, so just a little bit stronger there. Um, and then E Shadow Slash, the cooldown reduction per enemy champion hit is from 2 to 3 seconds, so um, you get 3 seconds cooldown per enemy champion hit on your E now, so uh, yeah, pretty good. Actually, I didn't even remember this happened, so that's a good thing to know when I'm playing against him now. So thanks. Yep. Thanks, yep, right? Yep. I didn't remember that either. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, Zyra. Hey. Zyra has been uh, kind of a menace in the jungle a bit. Yes. So let's see what they do about that. They are on her passive. Plant damage uh, is a nerf at all ranks or all levels, rather. Uh, so it's 1684, now it's 15 to 75. It does scale better with AP. So it used to scale 18%, now it's 20%. Um, so I think it's a nerf until she get. There's probably like a break point where she gets enough AP. This is uh, going to be fine. But I think it is a nerf early, like through her early clears. Because um, yeah. it's per plant, so sometimes she's spawning. You have to remember like... Multiple, multiple plants yeah. at a time yep so it, it can definitely add up um and then the bonus damage that it can they can do to monsters used to be 60 to 100 now it's 50 to 100 okay. so again multiple plants and everything so i think overall they're just trying to slow down for crazy fast clears um through the first couple of clears uh which i think yeah i think these changes will help with that i'm pretty sure yeah definitely but yeah yeah I don't know, I think she's more more like a, of an issue in pro play, I think, because they are like very good about setting up the plants and, and like really maximizing that, whereas in a you know, silver and gold solo queue. We're, we're not the best at we're not the best at uh, you know, <laughs> setting up the plants. So um yeah. yeah. I think I think this is this is more just to make it so she's not kinda of like Tristana, like pick ban and pro play, yeah. so Definitely, I would say so. You're you're 100 yep. right. It's not going to matter as much in like the lower elos, but um, no, no, it's no. definitely going to hurt her a little bit. I don't know. I don't wonder yep. if this. I don't know if this is actually going to like take her out of being like basically up there in the top echelon, but um, I don't think so. I don't think, I don't so, think so either. But, but I, we'll see. I guess it'll right. definitely maybe make it. Uh, you'll think twice, maybe like. I feel like her clear speed will go down. Yeah. Slightly. I know a lot of pros like overreact to even when even though they don't really even read patch notes sometimes, uh, they do kind of overreact sometimes to something like nerf. So it's like they just see someone on a nerf list. It's like all right, we're not gonna. That's she's not pro top anymore. So, uh, it's, what's the next best? So. Yep. True. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Definitely. Um. All right. Items. So we got uh, the only one. Only changes. Warmog's armor. So Warmog's heart health requirement was 1300. That's 1500 bonus health, which is pretty large actually. Um. I wonder some breakpoints on that. You're gonna have to get like two HP items maybe. Um. Yeah. Or this no, no, is, no. Um... Well, yeah. Yes. Unless your HP item has 500 health, right? Because Warmog's gets a thousand now. I think. Yeah, this is definitely, it even says on the little part there, this is just to stop the yeah, support okay. thing. Gotcha. So there was, have you, have you seen the support cheese that's been going no, around? No, no. Right. So, so there was, we, we, we in the support community um, <laughs> discovered that you could, you could first buy war mugs and you would get it about the same time your support oh. item uh fully flipped to the the rank three support item right and that was an, that flip was enough to proc the warmogs passive so it like at like sometimes 10 to 12 minutes into the game you just had a infinite like you never had the back if you didn't want to you just had infinite health regen from your warmogs like wow 10 minutes I didn't know yeah. that. So That's it's been, crazy. It's been kind of like a, a bit of a support cheese for maybe the last <laughs> patch or two. Right. So right. This, this is just totally to stop like that. <laughs> They're just like, we don't want that. Um, yeah. Okay. So there you go. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. All right. If you missed it. Uh, yeah. You missed some good times, but <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was pretty funny. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay. So kind of everyone getting hurt a little bit because of that yeah so, okay yeah i mean it just wasn't it was it was kind of degenerate because you would like you yeah. would run in and just take like it. you would take horrible horrible trades and lane <laughs> just because you could just run back to your tower sit there for like three seconds heal all the way back up 
and then do it again. So it, it was pretty degenerate. Wow. Okay. It was fun. It, it was super fun, but not, <laughs> not uh, the most healthy. Right. Game. That makes sense. <laughs> yep. Okay. Um, yeah, a bit of a nerf to war marks uh, and supports, I guess. Um, yep. <laughs> yeah. All right. What is you this one? Absorb, absorb life. <laughs> Uh, I don't know that I've ever seen that icon. Let's see. Absorb <laughs> life. We intended absorb life to be primarily about greed, cooping, health, late game. Okay. So healing, 2 to 20 scaling. Now it's 1 to 23 scaling. Um, and yeah, there you go. Okay. So just you heal a little bit less early and a little bit more late. Yeah, pretty this much. This is a nerf. <laughs> Walls 1 through 12 and a buff 13 through 18. Okay. So just more late game healing, less early game healing. Yeah, okay. I I don't really think this Sprit rune is that powerful overall. I don't um, think so either. No. But I guess it's good enough that they're nerfing at levels one to twelve. So, yeah. Yeah. Very interesting. Uh, okay. Uh, arena changes. We're not gonna really go into that, but you got some changes if you want to check that stuff out for sure. Definitely, you can pause the video or just go to the patch notes. I'll have the link in the description as always. Um. Bug fixes, definitely something to look through. It's definitely not a bad idea, just kind of skim at least. Um, and then ARAM changes, not too much there, but we got some stuff. Uh, what else? What else? Um, clash tournaments. Clash. We have clash tournaments. Oh, that already happened? Clash. Or technically well, uh, tonight? Still, still technically, yeah. Right. All right, all right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Mythic shop rotations getting changed a little bit. So now available, we've got DRX Aatrox, Eclipse Knight Senna, Firecracker Vein, and Debonair Brand coming up. Prestiges, of course, are, are all of those um, for Mythic Essence if you have all of that stuff. Uh, leaving the Mythic shop, we got a few stuff going on there. Um... What is this? Oh, so it's kind of giving you kind of a preview of the next stuff coming up. So yeah, um, I kind of like that. You can see multiple patches out. So yeah. You can, like, decide if you want to save up some. Absolutely. And myth guess this isn't really easy to come by unless you're spending a lot of money. Yeah. So definitely yeah. good idea. Okay. Yeah. So we got some really cool stuff here to kind of a look ahead. If you guys are interested in all of that, definitely not a bad idea. Star guiding Soraka. Yeah. Prestige. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Um, quick play. Surrender rules have done a good job of making sure players aren't stuck in lopsided games. However, we found that even games are ending a little sooner than we'd like. Exactly. So we're bumping up surrender times a bit. Yes! Thank you. I'm so sick and tired of being the one person trying and then everyone dies once and then they immediately surrender. Yeah, so I got GG. It's all over. It still happened. It'll just happen a couple minutes later. <laughs> yep. uh, 70% threshold to pass so it was typically 4 out of 5 it is typically 4 out of 5 is now available at 15 minutes instead of 10 good I didn't even realize it was 10 what? that's crazy 10 minutes um, and then 50% threshold to pass I guess for, maybe for hostage people that are holding teams hostage or something um, trolls 50% uh, threshold to pass uh, typically 3 out of 5 is now available at 25 minutes instead of 20 ooh Interesting. So we're getting 15 and 20 instead of 10 and 20. Okay. I like it, I think. We think. Yeah, yeah I think it's fine. All right, Make cool. them surrender later. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they're also looking at changes to ranked restrictions to help address the issues caused by players using quick play to quickly complete their required games. Oh, interesting. Okay. I know um, the guys in the LCS on the dive and stuff, especially we were talking about, um, what was it called? Uh, it was basically like people griefing game. Oh, soft denting? Is that, is that what it was? Soft denting? I don't know if you had heard about this, but um, basically people, you know, like people will like follow you around, steal all your CS and do that, but like they're still active, so the system doesn't really catch it and stuff. They're trying to figure out ways of like stopping that type of, of feeding. Or like not necessarily even like um, just not playing their lane, like going to another lane and like stealing CS and stuff. Um, like I don't know, it was really troll, and it was ruining games, and they're trying to figure out some ways to stop it, so look forward to that, but um, yeah, uh, I got some bug fixes and quality of life changes here, definitely check out some of that stuff, can be useful, we got our skins, alright, Cybercat Yumi, what do we think? Just the normal one. Pretty good, uh, yeah, that's pretty good, I like Cybercat Yumi, make, make me play some Yumi again. 
<laughs> Battle Bats. I, I've not seen this one in game yet, but uh, it looks interesting. Definitely. I've only seen it in Swarm, um, and it Swarm, looks pretty okay. good in Swarm. So, okay, yeah. sweet. Nice. Is it one of the champs you could play, or is it... Um... Yes. Okay, sweet. Yeah. You can you can unlock uh, a Zaya in the Swarm, yeah. yeah sweet. Alright, we have Prestige, Cybercat Yumi. She got a little crown. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Battle Bunny Aurora, which is like her first yep. Aurora skin, I guess, right? It's, uh... Yep, pretty yep, pretty yep. nice looking actually. I first I thought it was just the regular skin, honestly. Kinda kinda <laughs> kinda looked yeah, like it. Yeah, it looks very similar actually. But yeah. But um I think it looks cool good from what I remember. Um the Battle Dove Seraphine, which I think is uh, it's like the legendary skin, right? It's like eighteen twenty. Yes. So yeah, that's eighteen twenty. So yep, yep, yep. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I, I did look at this one. It looks looks pretty sick to be honest. So Yeah, cool. the alt animation is so cool, so Yes, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, and then Primordian Rek'Sai. Uh, he looks pretty cool in the splash, actually. He's like super, super monster. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think that one looks pretty decent. I don't remember too much of it. I think it's in Swarm, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Those, the Rek'Sai and Belveth are bosses in Swarm. Yeah. yeah. Um, so there, yeah. Yeah, that's what they look like in the game mode. Yep. Primordian Belveth. Does this one look good? I haven't seen this one yet. Uh, it looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, they did a good job with all these skins. They look... Uh... They all look really good in game. Nice. Yeah. And then we've got Admiral Battle Bunny Misfortune, which is um, a skin that you can't actually straight up buy, is from what I've seen, right? Um, you have to like. I don't, I don't think so. You have to like earn it through. Yeah, uh... if you get like, I think it's thirty of the Anima Squad capsules or something. So you kind of yeah. got to spend yeah, quite yeah. a bit of money for this. Which I don't know if you've seen this skin in game, but it's basically just a slight reskin of. Uh, yeah. What is it? Just Battle Bunny Misfortune, right? So yeah, it's very, it's very similar. I so. don't think I don't it's think. worth the money, to be honest. Like, I, I don't want to like say that just don't buy it, but like, um, it's a lot of work to get this thing, I think. And uh, it, it think is. If it wasn't it. so much like work to get it, but it's a lot. For, yeah, for uh, really but it's stuff. it's basically just Battle Bunny Misfortune, which is slightly different. Um, arguably maybe a little bit better. Um, but yeah, uh, pretty decent. Overall, got some good skins here. Obviously, I guess you can see some of them in game here, so that's pretty good. Battle Bat Zion, yeah, it looks pretty nice. Battle Bunny Aurora, there's the Prime Radiance, nice. All right, but yeah, um, without further ado, that's pretty much it for patch notes. Um, any final thoughts? What'd you think? Overall, good, kind of light. No, it's good. Good, not too many changes, but Swarm is a lot of fun, so they did a good job there. Yeah. Um, the skins are cool. Yeah, definitely. Swarm uh, is super fun. Definitely check that out. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. And we will catch you guys in patch 14.15 in two weeks instead of three. Yep. <laughs> Peace.